Still can Lark and Mark Smith are side by side as they come into Cascades now. Steve Wood trying to defend from Rutherford and also attack Can Lark for a place. Andrew Smith is next up in the green Golf VR6. Rutherford goes back ahead of Steve Wood then as they go there through Island Bend. Now Rutherford tries to be all heroic round the outside of Can Lark and Mark Smith. Is he going to do it? Let's see. The big beetle runs past the Corrado. It's alongside the Bora. It's going to work, I think. Yes, fantastic. The turbo kicks in. Both turbocharged 1800s cars though these and Smith just has the place coming into Fullstons then and Rutherford's trying again as Mark Smith locks up then scrambles into the corner Rutherford's left with nowhere to go except onto the grass and into the tyres and now the car out of the race not been a very good weekend at Alton for Martin sad to say sprints away from the car helmet off can I stand here he says stands on the tyre wall oh and he's not at all amused there with yes <clears throat> Uh, that, I suspect, is uh, Mark Smith, yes, it is, who is being given um, a certain amount of semaphore, shall we say, by a rather annoyed Martin Rutherford. Whether Mark Smith has time to notice what's being suggested to him, I know not. I'm sure it made the driver feel better, though. Martin Rutherford, having vented his anger, sad to say, is out of the race as well. Now, here is why Martin Rutherford is annoyed. Mark Smith locks up coming into the corner, gives Rutherford nowhere to go except onto the grass. Martin locks up, headbutts the tyres, and that does the car damage that ultimately puts him out of the race.